Hi guys, I'm Alex. <laughs> Together, we are the adventurous pair. Starting to sort of finish packing the van and disconnect it from all the mains and everything, ready to uh, hit the road again. Um, a glorious day outside. Another lovely day. I've just uh, done the delivery job down to the toilet. So now we're going to fill the fresh water, uh, disconnect the electric that we've been on, and then we're going to make our tracks. So the van's all packed. And uh, we're on our way. Emma, do the honours. A bye now. Off we go. So, we're just about at a parking spot. Alex is putting the gas. And look at his view behind him. Absolutely stunning. And look at the weather. I couldn't ask for better holiday weather for you. Blue sky, it is absolutely gorgeous. Great, just for the view. Doors are open. And then just over there, there is the. Um, Lighthouse, South South Lighthouse. So we've uh, finished our breakfast and our coffee, pots are washed. We're going to get ourselves out now. What we're we doing? What we're we doing now? We're climbing um, Hollyhead Mountain. Hollyhead Mountain. It's only like just over 200 meters. It's not really a mountain. We're going to go to South Stack Lighthouse, then go up the mountain, and then it just goes over to the North Stack. And it's a little cycle route, it's about four miles, five miles. There we go. Bags all packed. Some of these are in for us anyway. So we're just going to get our shoes on and then we're going to make a start on the walk. Just down from the car park, these. Um, Steps lead you down to the view of the lighthouse. So it's, uh, it's worth noting, you need a ticket to get onto the island where the lighthouse is just down these steps. But we think you can sort of go down the steps to where the bridge is. We might get told off in a minute. I don't think we'll get no. told off. I think you're okay to walk down the steps, but you need a ticket to get onto the island to go to the lighthouse. Yeah, the bridge in it. So I think we should be fine. So Emma was walking the lighthouse then. We come to the bottom of the, well, near the bottom of the stairs. And um, that's the shop staff, south staff even, lighthouse. Yes, we we go go across the bridge to get to it and pay. So it's a fair way we're gonna go and then we're gonna head back up. And then we're gonna go climb Holyhead Mountain, which is just above 200 meters. We've uh, decided to get ourselves a nice little spot in the cliff where we can just see the top of the lighthouse. I'll show you in a second. But it's not only that way, views for miles. We rejoin the path and then we're going to head to North Stack. Hollyhead Mountain. There you go. So you can see it, you can see that little pointy chimney thing. 
There's just some water behind it. We were back in Santa Fe yesterday. Cooper, is this way? Is that my Welsh guy? But it means summit in Welsh. I'm not sure pronouncing it wrong, aren't I? We're going to walk down the other side um, and behind me, I can't wear, can't wear it, it's the Town Street, there's ferries I think are there, I think I'm pointing to where the ferries are, and that's what we're going to do now, we're going to head down there to the pier. It's hopeful that we'll get down there. Yeah, we're going to head down there, we're going to So, and uh, you know the wisdom, um, saying that we were going to go to the ferries, over there, I didn't realise that we've actually had to come down below sea level. Below sea level? Well, like the mountain behind us, so we think. Let's go down to sea think, level. We think there's a route that hooks around the bottom of the mountain. Um, it's basically Casper's Park, like, I don't know, about 150 metres above sea level, and some of this is like 200 metres. Whereas the pool is obviously down the bottom at sea level, so we're dropping a lot of height, then we'll have to go back over this mountain again to get back to Casper. So we're basically going to be climbing Hollyhead. So we're going to stay here, and then we're going to go on a path that we think goes around the edge of the mountain. So we're going to follow this path that goes round the edge of Hollyhead Mountain, which will go past North Stacks. I think we'll all have to go up a bit because we have dropped a lot of heights. So we've actually joined behind Emma. It looks like I'm picking a nose if I get the right place. Oi! Right. That's <laughs> that. So behind Emma, or behind us, there's the coastal path. We're on, I think we're on the coastal path. Yeah, I can see coastal path. We think we are, yeah. So we're going to follow this and this should lead us back around the mountain behind me, uh, back to the van. So, if you've seen our Scotland series, Emma for most of that series was called the wonky chef because every time we come out for a walk she cockled over. We're three days into the Welsh holiday, she's just cockled over coming down this hill behind us. Behind me, just there. So, I now pronounce her the wonky chef. So the path that we took led us down to the North Stack. Just as you can see behind me there. If we turn around in the distance, you should be able to see the lighthouse over there, which is South Stack. I'm going to head back up the hill along this path and then rejoin the other path. South Stack, which is where we put them. Isn't it? Isn't it? What? Oh, we're part of the van in South Stack. Uh, yeah. Okay, let's go. We just uh, caught the ferry leaving just behind us. So, this is the path to North Stack, and then this is actually the path that you need to get back to South Stack is what we're heading on now. So look, Alex climbing back to the summit of Hollyhead Mountain. There's a limb all the way down. It's looking so thrilled. How oh, she climb to the summit going again? All right, lads. So we're over that summit, or half a little summit. And uh, we're heading now back down the path, back towards South Stack. Where the van is, are we not? Yes, we're right in the summit of Hollywood Mountain, so we're going to get around the side, aren't we? So it's just that little hump to get over earlier on. Oh, oh. Jesus. 
And that's why we call it the <laughs> Wonky Chef. So we're actually walking back on another path that's kind of leading us back towards the van. Uh, you won't be able to see the path, but it's over there, down that little hill. Isn't it? Isn't it? Yes. Fairly she listens to me. Alex is go, he reckons he can do it, take his back off, bag back off, bag off. That's it, stretch your back out. You don't want any back injuries. He's gonna hit his head. Woohoo! So we've just come down these steps that we walked past on the footpath earlier on this morning. And if I pan around, we're back at South Stack where we were this morning when we, well, this, yeah, this morning when we started to walk. Um, so we're just, we're just heading back up the steps sort of towards the car park, back towards the van, aren't we? We are, I think we've had some food. So. Well, so we're just supporting the local economy here. Um, we've gone and got, Emma's got a, a ginger and chocolate uh, vegan cake. I've got myself an ice cream, local ice cream. And, uh, and, a, and a coffee. Mm, there is a ginger, nice. What have you got there, Alex? This is a, a raspberry. Oh, wait, a minute. wait a minute, mate. There we go. What have you got there, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> Real wide angle. It was a bit too zoomed in. <laughs> <laughs> so, this is a raspberry fudge. And white chocolate ice Look cream. Look at it, this local ice cream in it. Taste of Anglesey. Taste of Anglesey. See if it tastes of Anglesey. Oops, put my hand in front of the camera now, Jesus. What does Anglesey taste like? I don't know, you'll find out. It's not vegan friendly. So I can't have any, can't experience it myself. Let's have a look at that. Mmm. Mm. Out of ten. I'd say that's about an eight. That, that, that tastes just like Anglesey would. Oh, lovely. Anyone else knows what Anglesey tastes like? And just look at this view we've got. Gorgeous. Short walk across the car park back to the van. Isn't it? Someone's finished the craft day cake. I'm so not just put it on the back. I'll turn the gas off. Emma's going to get the rest of the van ready. And then we're going to head to the nice park up. Here we go. Let's go. It's worth noting while uh, Emma's putting the pots up. If you can just stop making so much noise, please. It's worth noting that while Emma puts the pots away, this car park at South Stack is in mind. This um, stop banging. Um, this car park is at South Stack. Oi! This car park at South Stack. It's um, five pound um, all day, um, which is pretty good value, really. Cast for getting some juice. So the next job is to put some air in these tyres. So sixteen. Yeah, we put sixteen. We can have sixteen and max. So we don't want to overpressurise them. So we're back on the road now. We had a bit of an issue with filling the air in the tyres because the it one at the garage went right there. Pound. Cost a pound and didn't seem to head be, northeast. It seemed to be letting the air out as opposed to actually filling filling the tire. So I had to in 50 yards pop into of home bargains. Take to the buy, first exit. Pop into, shh, I had to pop into home bargains. In 50 yards at the roundabout, take the first exit onto A5153. I had to pop into, so home, rude, pop into home bargains to buy an emergency air compressor for five pounds. And we 
managed to pump it up to about 55. 50 yards for the roundabout, take the first exit onto the A55 slip road to Bangor. We managed to pump it up to about um, 55, 60 psi. So, so yeah, a bit of a nuisance road. Um, tonight's park up it's um, just on the side of the road this one um, and then to the right of us is the um, copper mine yeah prayer mountains or prayer mountains p-r-a-y mountains but we can't get into that car park because the height restriction, the height restriction. where there's probably a lot of scotland didn't we did. we? so we'll see what um the wonky chef is uh preparing right, speciality in casper is curry our favourite, our uh, fan life favourite. By the wonky chef. By the chef, by the amazing chef. By the wonky chef. The chef. The wonky chef. It's the wonky, wonky, wonky <laughs> chef. <laughs> Too big a plate, it's coming. It's all this broth, it gives us a massive appetite. So we've come out to capture sunset. It's not as good as what we hoped for, as you can see. Yeah, it is it's a bit overcast tonight. Currently stood on the old Copper Man site. It's actually called the, I don't know, it's spelled P-A-R-Y, not P-R-A-Y. So Pears, pe 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 Mountains, I don't know. But the old Copper Man Kingdom. And Alex is currently flying the drone so you can hear a humming sound somewhere, I don't know where it is. But yeah. Right, we're going to leave you here. Um, I think I've put some of my forehead a little bit shiny. Um, we'll, catch up with, got some vibe. we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Um, where are we going? Where are we going? That mountain. The copper mines. We're going to walk the copper mines kingdom. Catch you tomorrow. Ta.